Now, as you likely know, the Rosh Hashanah Jewish New Year holiday is right around the corner. This is usually an amazing celebration with lots of delicious food, but unfortunately, there are many needy families here in Israel that are unable to celebrate the holiday. And so to ensure that Israelis of all backgrounds and socioeconomic statuses can have a sweet new year, the Yad Ezra Shulamit charity is organizing food and goods baskets stocked with everything a family might need. And so joining us now is celebrity chef and cookbook author Jamie Geller, who every year, or really every holiday, throws her support behind the Yad Ezra Shulamit to help those in need. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Lazar. So you obviously work a lot with food, but what brings you to help uh, with Yad Ezra Shulamit? Look, I think when you would know and understand that a third of the children living in Israel are living below the poverty line, I felt that it's like my duty, having dedicated so much of my professional life to feeding people, that I, this was like a natural extension and very necessary for me to get involved with. And this Rosh Hashanah, 300,000 people will be fed by Yad Ezra Meat. This is something that not only do I want to throw my support behind, but I want to see how we can together help to feed the hungry people in Israel, women, children, widows, orphans, lone soldiers, everyone that needs to be fed. And so what exactly does the organization do? So the organization is unbelievable. First of all, I've been for many, many years, I've been at the distribution center. I've actually went to visit people who are the recipients of food baskets and vouchers. Normally on a regular basis, Yad Ezra Vashulamid gives out 12 thousand food baskets a week plus vouchers to hungry families and many many children in israel in addition to feeding them in their after school centers clothing them with warm coats in the winter it's just an unbelievable organization that is so dedicated to ensuring that with dignity and respect the hungry people in israel are fed and a thing i love about in addition to the food baskets which are all the basics and essentials you would need the vouchers allow the parents to take their children shopping and they can actually point to a treat on the shelf and say like I would love that and then to be able to buy what the kid might actually want something special and to us what we take as a luxury is something that is like should not be underestimated the value of that so in addition to the food baskets the vouchers on a weekly basis I think are super special and there you know there are many organizations uh, that help the needy here in Israel especially during the holidays what is different about Yad Ezra Veshulamit? I mean, why did you choose to volunteer specifically with this organization? I have to say, thank God there are so many organizations and everyone in every organization fully funded and acting on behalf of the needy is still not enough to feed the needy in Israel. So honestly, it's it's an honor to be part of Yad Ezra Shulamit, but we really support everyone who is feeding those who are hungry in Israel. What I saw here, the founder of Yad Ezra Shulamit was so, um, he grew up himself uh, in this way, and he understood what it means to be hungry, and he made a promise that he would never, he would take it upon himself to make sure that no child in Israel goes hungry. So when I saw that personal dedication, and a person who's coming from a place of really understanding what these children and what these families need, that touched me really deeply to my core. And just to see the dedication, over a thousand volunteers will be coming together to feed the 300,000 uh, people in Israel that yeah, Ezra Vishalamid is committed to feeding this Rosh Hashanah and that was something I was like sign me up I'm in so that that was why and what do they do specifically for Rosh Hashanah I mean you know like what's included in the baskets what foods and I hear also that this year they're helping lone soldiers so can you maybe tell us a little bit more about this as well So for sure. So for this Rosh Hashanah, we're feeding 300,000 people in Israel. That's food baskets. 55,000 food baskets are going out to families. And that's a total of 300,000 people in 91 cities across Israel. And it's quite the operation. It takes 1,000 volunteers to put it together. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love Yad Ezra Vishulamit. 91 cities. I mean, we're really touching. It's not like just concentrated in central Israel or northern Israel or southern Israel. Really, really just trying to hit all of the areas across the country north to south and east to west the food baskets are filled with chicken and grape juice and and um 
Hala, honey is so expensive. It's supposed to be a sweet new year. Honey is one of those very, um, very costly ingredients and something that's essential to celebrating the holiday, plus the food vouchers. In addition to that, there's a new program for lone soldiers. Uh, this Rosh Hashanah will be feeding over 200 lone soldiers. For anybody that doesn't know, lone soldiers come from abroad. They make aliyah to Israel with no family, alone. That is why they're called lone soldiers, to fight and dedicate their lives, and they're willing to risk their lives and give their lives to support and to protect the land and the people of Israel. And look at what they're doing for us. Turns out that when they're not on base, they don't have enough food to eat. They don't have families to go to. If they're not adopted by a family, they are alone for the holidays. Can you imagine being alone and having no food to eat? So it's unbelievable that we're delivering food baskets to them as well, in addition to the food vouchers. And so if our viewers want to get involved, you know, they've heard about this amazing organization. They see how passionate you are about it. How can they help out? Well, first of all, obviously, every donation helps. I think if you think in terms of donating and committing yourself to a food basket, there are 55,000 food baskets that will feed over 300,000 people. Or think about a lone soldier and do a food basket plus a voucher. That's a food basket plus a 200 shekel voucher. If everyone listening, I mean, I know we have more than 200 listeners, would commit themselves to adopting a soldier or to doing a food basket for the holiday, it would make a massive difference. I know that you'll put the link down below. There's a special link for those watching here on ILTV. And it's an unbelievable way to get involved, to donate. And then, of course, you can volunteer there. We have a 1,000 volunteers that are helping to give out, uh, like I said, 55,000 food baskets across 91 cities to over 300,000 people. But all donations help. All right, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. And happy Rosh Hashanah. Thank you, Lazar, so much for the opportunity to share this opportunity with you and all the ILTV viewers.